Our story begins in the 1930s when American geologists made a remarkable discovery in the deserts of Saudi Arabia. Welcome to Gyan Guru IAS. In this video, we will dive into the fascinating history and complicated current state of Saudi-US relations. The Saudi-US relations gained significance in the mid-20th century and has included various aspects such as oil trade, defense cooperation, and regional stability. In 1938, the Mam Well No. 7 struck black gold or petroleum and it marked the birth of Aramco, a partnership between American oil companies and Saudi Arabia. Later in 1980s, Saudi Arabia took control of Aramco, made it fully state-owned entity. King Abdul Aziz of Saudi Arabia forged diplomatic ties with the United States, laying the foundation for what would become a crucial relationship. The relationship was largely established due to importance of Saudi Arabia as a major oil producer. The US and Saudi Arabia cooperated on oil trade with the US relying on Saudi oil imports to fuel its economy. By the 1950s, the geopolitical landscape has transformed. The Swiss Canal crisis and the Cold War shifted the balance of power. The United States and Saudi Arabia forged what would be known as special relationship. The Swiss Canal crisis occurred in 1956 when Egypt nationalized the Swiss Canal, previously controlled by Britain and France. The United States played a significant role in resolving the crisis by pressuring its allies to withdraw and support Egypt's sovereignty over the canal. Saudi Arabia was a vocal critic of Swiss intervention and supported Egypt. As the Cold War intensified, Saudi Arabia continued to supply the United States with oil, playing a crucial role in ensuring the West's energy security. The United States provided military support and training to the Saudi Arabia, enhancing its security capabilities. The US Central Command CENTCOM was established in the region to protect American interests. Tensions arose during the oil embargo imposed by OPEC countries including Saudi Arabia on the United States due to its support for Israel during the Yom Kippur War. This highlighted the vulnerability of U.S. energy security. During the 1970s, the petrodollar system emerged. Saudi Arabia and OPEC priced oil in U.S. dollars, creating a symbiotic relationship. The U.S. ensured the security of Saudi Arabia, while Saudi Arabia invested its newfound wealth in United States assets and financial markets. This economic and political alliance strengthened over the years. In the 1980s, oil price volatility and regional conflict tested the relationship. The Gulf War in 1990 saw the deployment of US troops to Saudi Arabia, which was met with mixed sentiments in the kingdom. The Iranian Revolution in 1979 and the subsequent hostage crisis drained Saudi-US relations. The US provided refuge to Iran's deposed Shah, which was seen as a betrayal by some in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan marked a turning point. Saudi Arabia, with the US support, became a key financer of Afghan resistance groups, including the Mujahideen. This cooperation was the part of broader US strategy to counter Soviet influence. In 1990 and 91, the United States led a coalition including Saudi Arabia in the Gulf War to liberate Kuwait from the Iraqi occupation. Saudi Arabia allowed the deployment of hundreds of thousands of US troops on its soil making it a crucial base for Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. This cooperation highlighted the strategic importance of the region to the US. This further solidified their military cooperation. 9-11 attacks in 2001 complicated the relationship further. Majority of 9-11 hijackers were Saudi nationals, leading to increased scrutiny of the relationship. However, the US-Saudi alliance persisted with the both nations cooperating on counter-terrorism efforts. Fast forward to the 2010, US experienced an energy revolution with the shale boom. This revolution reduced its dependence on Saudi oil. The US became a net energy exporter, changing the dynamics of global energy markets and US-Saudi relations. The United States and Saudi Arabia had differing views on the Arab Spring uprisings, particularly in the countries like Egypt, Bahrain, Yemen and Syria. The Arab Spring was a series of pro-democracy uprisings, protests and demonstrations that swept across the several countries in the Middle East and North Africa, beginning in late 2010. These movements were characterized by demands for political reform, economic justice and social change, which strained their relationship to some extent. 
disagreement is arose between the two countries over the Iran nuclear deal with Saudi Arabia expressing concerns about Iran's regional influence. US provided logistical and intelligence support to Saudi Arabia in its intervention in the Yemen civil war. Though this involvement faced criticism due to humanitarian concerns. The ascension of Mohammed bin Salman brought about changes in Saudi Arabia's domestic and foreign policies. His Vision 2030 plan aimed to modernize the economy and he sought closer ties with the United States while also facing criticism over human rights issues. MBS's leadership has been marked by domestic reforms such as allowing women to drive and promote cultural and entertainment initiatives. However, concerns persist regarding human rights, freedom of expression and political dissent in Saudi Arabia. His leadership style has been characterized as assertive and ambitious, leading to both domestic reforms and foreign policy decisions. Beyond oil, both nations have explored collaborations in various sectors including technology, investment and renewable energy. The NEOM project, a massive futuristic development initiative in Saudi Arabia that aims to create a high-tech sustainable city in the northwestern part of the country. NEOM represents a significant economic opportunity for both Saudi Arabia and United States. The US companies have shown interest in investing in NEOM's various sectors including technology, renewable energy and infrastructure development. But the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in 2018 strained their relations. The US Congress played a key role in holding Saudi Arabia accountable for the murder. Lawmakers passed resolutions condemning the murder and attempting to halt US military assistance to the Saudi Arabia for its involvement in the Yemen conflict. Khashoggi's murder led to increased scrutiny of US arms sales to Saudi Arabia. The US-Saudi relationship continued under the Biden administration with a focus on recalibrating ties while addressing human rights concerns and regional security.